remember in Hawaii we have also different nationalities and they're translating uh, different because somebody has to translate first to English and then English translate to maybe Chinese and Chinese translate into <laughs> other things, you know. <laughs> and we have waves of laughter, remember? <laughs> First the Vietnamese and the English <laughs> and the Chinese and the Japanese and the German and the Korean, etc. Yeah. Mm. It's fun, huh? Our group, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we laugh a lot, even at death also. Yeah. Okay. But I'm worried, guys, and worried about the people. But never mind. Whatever. If they have that kind of choice, well, let it be, huh? Yeah. We can't stop people choosing what they want to choose, right? The thing is, before we came here, we knew what we want. And when we came here, we get kind of blurred out, you know, by background, by DNA, by social influences, by friends, yeah? By situation, yes. And by our weaknesses as well. Pick up, by the way, or pick up from heaven before you come here. And then, sometimes, your weaknesses overcome you, you see, overcome your strength, and then you do many bad things, all the things that are not desirable. And then you go even lower, and then it's just suppressing you all the time. So in this world, you need a master, you know? Yeah. Need somebody who can help you in times of trouble. Because in times of trouble, you don't remember who you are. You, you cannot even get up yourself, your soul. Your knowledge has been suppressed and locked and covered and taken from you, yeah? so that you don't even know what you come here for. and You forgot your vows and your promises before you came. This is a trick of Maya, you know. They let you come here, but when you come here, you're under the control. They're under their control. That's a packed deal, you see. You can't just come here free and happy like the way you were in heaven, yeah? There's a price to pay to be here. Even to fulfill your job or to progress spiritually or to help somebody to progress spiritually. There's a price to pay. I feel very sorry for everybody, you know? You know, Master always are here on earth, you know? All the Master came here for that. Because the Master knows that when you come down here, you'll be in trouble. And all of you will be in trouble, so nobody can help nobody. See what I mean? Yes. So the Master always came with you and tried to help you out and remind you that that's not you. No, no, no. Remember what you want to do. Remember your greatness before you came here, etc., etc. But as you are here, you forgot. You don't even recognize yourself. You don't recognize the Master, your best friend, you know, from heaven. It's very difficult. The Master run around, keep telling you, wake up, wake up, remember, but sometimes not. Sometimes, okay, remember a little bit and then go back to sleep, just like you meditation here. <laughs> you know, if I talk like that, you understand right away. <laughs> Different personal experience, you know. <laughs> okay, and then sometimes you even go against the master, you know, even your friend, the friend who wants to help you, and you even beat him up, you know. Uh, maybe physically, maybe mentally, maybe psychologically, maybe different mean, you know? Restricting his freedom by your bad habit or even goes against the master for no reason, you know? Mm. If they choose to do some bad things, then of course they have to get the consequences. The thing is, it's like that. When you come down here on this planet, before you came, you promised, oh, I'm going to help this and that neighbors of mine, long time ago, that she's now here and she's in trouble and she forgot herself, you know, her great self, so I'm coming down as her son, her daughter, her friend, or her neighbors to help her again. Yes. But then when you came down, you forgot. You were so distracted by eating, drinking, you know, whatever, yeah? Beauties, yeah, handsome, yeah, all kind of stuff, money, 
position, power, and you forgot your promise. And some also say, oh, I come down to help Master because Master will need a lot of help to take care of everybody on the planet. Then you come down, you forgot, you get distracted by men, by women, by money, by, oh, whatever, house, car, you know, the latest, yeah, the fastest, etc., etc., and I'm left alone again, or any master, you know. You know, sometimes I do need some more help. Not like personally, yeah, but like, okay, we can do some translation for different languages, yes. I have only a handful of helpers, you know, and not to talk about, they bring their stuff with them. Not just their help, but their stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? The stuff, the tough stuff. <laughs> when you got a helper, you get a package deal, you know, with all kind of negativities come with it. The poor guy also could not help himself because before he came here, he has to pick up his old karma. <laughs> Understand? Yes. Depends on how bad you were in the former lives, you have to take how many uh, bad uh, traits with you. Yeah? For example, that guy in the old time, he was a womanizer, yes, and he's not very faithful to his wife, for example. Then in this lifetime, if he wants to come down on this planet to help anybody at all, or to help Master Yun, he got to pick up that trait again and to overcome it. But can the guy do it? Mm -mm. The answer is big and no. Very difficult. You understand me? Because it keeps strengthening more as you reincarnate times and times again. It doesn't get any weaker. So that is a price. Anyone has to pay to come in here. That's why life after life, we should listen to the Master teaching and be good. So in case if you have to come down here <laughs> and to help anybody or want to help a Master, then you don't burden the Master or you don't create more trouble for the person you are intended to help even. Do you understand me? Oh, because sometimes, if not, then uh, you create more trouble than help. The balance is not that perfect, you see? Sometimes you create like maybe 80% of goodness, okay? Then you have 40% of badness. Wow, that's a lot. A lot of headache for the person that you wanted to help or to the master. Do you understand me? Yes. And sometimes you can be helpful like 50%. But 30% of you also create badness. Then it's kind of almost like cancel out, you know what I mean? Or it's very, very tiring for the Master to deal with this badness. Yeah, very difficult. So it's up to you to try to correct these kind of traits, you know, within the cycle of reincarnation which is difficult. But if you know it, you know, okay, how come? You know, you trait it like, for example, womanizing, yes. Then you know that is definitely <laughs> your bad karma from the past life. Then this life you must definitely don't even look at woman. <laughs> yeah, laughing, why? Why are you laughing? It's fun. <laughs> it's fun? <laughs> it's not fun for the guy, for you, yes. Because you're a woman, you don't need to look, uh, except why does she wear that beautiful dress and I don't have, you know. Oh, this is a trouble, you know. So some men and women really wanted to help the world, but they overcome by their own weaknesses, you know. That's a very big problem for everybody. That's why I often have to work alone. Everybody comes with some garbage. Do you understand me? That is the rule, yeah? If you want to come down here, do anything good at all. You have to balance yourself with bad karma. You have to pick up some bad karma that you are used to before. Okay, the Master gives you initiation and cut off that, all that bad karma, 
you see, burn it off so that you don't have to come back in this lifetime again. And then you're free, you go up to heaven, a third heaven maybe. And, but then you look down and you see somebody and you want to help or you want to come down and improve yourself or progress in spiritual practice. Understand? Yeah. Then you have to overcome your past tendency of negativity. So remember every time if you tend to turn to that negative corner, please think twice. Okay. Could it be that my bad karma came back? You know, many, many fold stronger than before. That is a problem. Because when you come into this atmosphere of the planet, there are also plenty more negativities of the like nature. So your negativity will attract also form of that, and they clump together and make you feel more inclined to that kind of negative direction, more than just your own negative tendency. Do you understand me? Like attract like. Yes. It's very difficult to pick up any positive things on this planet, mostly negative. So if you bring your own and come here, oh, and then it's like a magnet. All the negativity also will be connected with you through, you know, the law of like attract like. And then you'll be overwhelmed. So you are the only one who decides which direction you go. Hmm? Which direction, according to the Buddha's teaching, according to Jesus' teaching, according to Prophet Mohammed teaching or the James Master teaching, Mahavira, etc., etc. Yes. You have to think before you do anything bad or anything you doubt it that is not good. You have to think would Buddha do this? Okay? Would Jesus act like that? Uh, would Prophet Mohammed agree to my action? Then you will know what to do. Do you understand me? Yes. Otherwise, if you don't have guidance, you just do whatever you think in your mind, then it's mostly just negative, because you don't meditate enough to overcome the negative power of this world yet. You understand? Apart from your own <laughs> negative trait that you have picked up before you came here to overcome it, you know? to win over your negative past. Apart from that, you have all the negativities of different kinds upon you as well. So always think, that's why the teaching of the Buddha is important. Teaching of Jesus is important. Teaching of Islam is important. Take it as a guidance, understand me? What would the Prophet do in this case? What would the Buddha do in this case? What would Jesus Christ decide? in this case, then you won't go wrong, okay? That's how you follow uh, Islam teaching. That's how you be a good Christian, and this is how you are a true Buddhist. All right? Don't just read it eh, for fun. It is a good guidance for you, so that you will not err in this negative domain, so that you will not be overpowered by your own has karmic uh, force and the force of negativity in this world, the collective one. Okay? Huh? Yeah, all right. Good. I see you later. <laughs>